Are you ready? You ready for the rooster? Let's we'll start with this update. Look. Um. Good girl. Is that so yummy? Oh, she likes it. Here, how there's. Wow, she likes it. You're a good girl. Yeah. Good girl. think that she possibly has a mild form of RSV. That's what the doctor at the uh, children said. I went to the children's hospital because she has this cough that she that she chokes when she coughs and it made me very nervous. So we went to the hospital. She has a mild form of RSV. It's the first time that she's sick and uh, she's four and a half months. It's the first time that she's sick. So we've been very lucky. Hello? Yeah, hi. Yeah. You got a mail from Quick Book Agency. Well, we're gonna look into it. Yeah. What do you guys think about child modeling? Is it exposing your children? Or if it's done delicately, properly, with respect, is it fine? What do you guys think? With today's social media, what do you think, Mom? Let's have a discussion. Well, I think that as long as whatever she has to do, she's comfortable with, like they don't push force her into, her. force her and push her into things that, that she's either physically uncomfortable or put her in the arms of strangers, like I don't like that kind of stuff, you know. No, like, like I, as long as you're allowed to be next to her and care for her, I mean she's just small. No, I feel that if I still remain um, the, the sole person to say what's right and what's wrong and what's good for my daughter and what's not good for my daughter and if I remain somebody that I'm able to decline something that I'm not comfortable with for my daughter then that's fine if not I'm not I'm not okay with it yeah Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. We are Wednesday, we're March 6th. Um, I have to admit that it takes, like it takes a reminder for me to vlog, uh, to vlog because it's not something that I'm used to doing. Um, but, and then I, and I'm gonna be honest, like I feel so stupid when I vlog because I feel like people are just like, well, what the heck are you doing, you know? But then, when I look back on my videos and I see videos of Liv that I probably wouldn't have taken, although I take like a gazillion and one um, pictures, I feel really, really happy. I feel very, very happy that I vlog, so. I'm trying to get into it because I feel like it's so nice to have a community of moms and, and, and non-moms and like anybody really that you can just talk to, especially being at home with the baby. Although she keeps me busy all the time, it gets a little bit lonely, so it's definitely um, fun to have somebody to talk to. Um, so, yeah. So yesterday, we tried her on avocado. I'm gonna post, I'm gonna put that in, in the video. We tried avocado and she loved the avocado. Um, I was originally gonna start her on cereal, but there's this article that came out about high levels of arsenic in cereal for babies and the levels that are permitted here would not be permitted in Europe or something like that anyway. She's finally asleep. Her room is getting to be a bit of a, a mess. All these clothes, I cannot believe that all these clothes don't fit her. I mean, she actually never wore this from Carter's. There's so much that she never wore. She had a beautiful um, a, a bomber jacket from Tommy. Doesn't fit. She wore it like once. But yesterday I was at Winners and I got <laughs> such a cute leather jacket for her. I was in love with this leather jacket. 
I got her size 12 months and the only place that it's big on her is actually on her arms. Apart from that, it fits her. And while I was at Winners, I got her a Sesame Street book. It was 10 little board books for $10. I thought that was, uh, no, 12 board books, sorry. It opens like this. She is obsessed with Sesame Street. Sesame Street, the Furchester Hotel. Oh, she loves it. And I spent some time today taking really cute pictures of her in her little lemon outfit from Little Me. So I'm gonna also probably include that in the video because it's super cute. But if you're not following my Instagram, it's Jasmina and Liv. And I'll have it linked down below. You have to go follow. I post the cutest pictures of Liv. Of course, I'm very biased and I think she's the cutest kid in the world. But I think every mom thinks that about their kids. <laughs> that we made it all the way to four months without her even having a cold but unfortunately I'm the one that got sick and I likely gave it to Liv even though she did not stay next to me during the night she you know I'm still her mom I still am, have to be there for her and I can't just disappear for like a week and so she pr likely took it from me but she's doing better she just has this cough especially in the morning and at night but just like us when we're sick morning and night it's always worse but yeah, so, and I know my camera died in the car, but my husband, when he called me in the car, he was telling me that we got like this letter from um, an, a modeling agency for Liv. And then I read online that it's a bunch of, um, it's a scam and that it's not real and that they try, they're trying to take money and whatnot. And I had started a discussion, what do you guys think about child modeling and I was saying that I think that it's fine of course if the parent remains in control to a certain extent like if my child is not comfortable with somebody or I am not comfortable with somebody then I'm not gonna put my child and force my child because then it becomes an abusive situation in my opinion but uh, I know now with today's technology and with today's social media a lot of people including myself post pictures of their kids and it becomes a community also and so you always have to be aware of people that are not um not on social media for the right reasons um yeah so i was i don't think i'm gonna go with that agency i'm not trusting them but i don't know it would be cool to see my kid like in Gap or something like every time I walk into Gap and I see these adorable babies I think to myself that'd be fun if Liv can do that one time but I don't know there's so much competition and when you talk about competition and children it's like should there be competition with kids there shouldn't be competition with kids kids are they're so innocent and you know that's my other concern is like I don't want my, my I don't want my child to lose her innocence of course like she's she's a child she remains um, a child and modeling is it's work but at the same time I don't want it to be work and so I think that's where I you know we post really cute pictures on Instagram on our own time no one tells us what to do no one tells me what to do as her mother and I think that's probably probably the right way of doing things I don't know I'm talking all over the place I'm tired my hair needs to be done look at this look at that moms that are on um, medication for depression and anxiety and you changed your medication I feel you because that's what I'm doing now I'm changing my meds they're not working right my medication and it's giving me lots of side effects it's making me very nauseous um, very tired a little bit spaced out I don't know it's hard. It's definitely hard. <laughs>